Welcome to your January 2022 release highlights. Today we'll be covering updates to generally available features, GA enhancements, and early access features. Let's begin with generally available features. We're excited to announce the new Rate Limit Dashboard. It can help you manage things like isolating outliers, preventing issues in response to alerts, finding and addressing the root cause of rate limit violations, and finding and addressing the root cause of rate limit violations. Visit the Rate Limit Dashboard documentation or Rate Limit Monitoring documentation or see the dashboard directly through the admin console. Administrators can now view the delivery status for SMS messages in the system log. For information about the new event type, see Configure and Use Telephony. The new device notification functionality is renamed to New Sign-On Notification in the Admin Dashboard, the Email Notification Title, and elsewhere. It refers to the email notification a user receives when there's a sign-in event from an unrecognized device. Check out the new permissions for custom admin roles. These new permissions give super admins more granular control over their delegated org permissions. End users can now edit sign-in URLs for their apps on the App Settings page. New Service Principal Name SPN, functionality allows agentless desktop single sign-on or ADSSO authentication to continue without interruption when an SPN is updated. A service account and an SPN are required for ADSSO Kerberos authentication. With this change, you can now update the SPN frequently. OAuth's dynamic issuer mode helps with split deployment use cases, migration use cases when customers migrate from the Okta domain to a custom domain, and support with multiple custom domains. An authorization server's issuer URL can be used to validate whether tokens are issued by the correct authorization server. You can configure the issuer URL to be either the Okta subdomain or a custom domain. See Create the Authorization Server. Now with Threat Insight, malicious IP addresses can be more easily blocked and addressed and Okta automatically denies the user access to the org. Making Okta the source for group push groups allows admins to maintain accuracy of app group memberships and prevents changes to the group memberships after a push. Password change email notifications may now be sent to LDAP sourced users. Admins now have the option to prompt LDAP sourced users for a secondary email when they sign into Okta for the first time. These duplicate notifications increase the likelihood they'll be seen. See Configure Optional User Account Fields. Admins can now enable the directory debugger to provide Okta support with access to Okta AD and LDPA agent diagnostic data. This new diagnostic and troubleshooting tool accelerates issue resolution by eliminating delays collecting data and improves communication between orgs and Okta. See Enable the Directories Debugger. Let's move on to GA enhancements. The sign-in widget now has improved JIT error messages. The new OIN Manager enhancements have a lot of functionality for OID and SAML be sure to review the information below. A new animation is now displayed on a loading page when users sign into an app from Okta. API Token ID is now displayed under API Tokens for easy tracking. SHA Type is now displayed for SAML certificates in the Admin Console. Finally, let's conclude with Early Access Features. We've revamped our Okta Agent Automatic Update. Admins can now initiate or schedule automatic updates to Okta AD agents from the Admin Console. The updates that previously took several hours have now been reduced drastically, in some cases to just a few minutes. And that's your January 2022 release highlights.